Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's scroll saw project video, we're going to be doing another nautical theme project designed by Steve Good. I've already got the pattern printed out here, and the full pattern is actually the sea captain and a boat. But today we're just going to be focusing on the sea captain. I went and had this side of the pattern blown up a little bigger, seeing as I've already cut out a ship. And it's very similar to the ship design in this side of the pattern. So what we're going to do is just focus on the sea captain. Again, I got it blown up and got it attached to two pieces of quarter inch plywood. So that means we're going to be stack cutting over on the scroll saw. When stack cutting, make sure that your blade is lined up to your table at a perfect 90 degrees. But I've already got the pattern attached with clear packing tape. So let's head over to the drill press, drill a bunch of pilot holes and get started. And over here at the drill press, we're going to drill all of the pilot holes for all the interior cuts. Several on this project, I believe, is between 35 and 40 interior cuts and also quite a few to keep you busy for a little bit. And then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And obviously the footage is sped up for time purposes, but I will let you know that all the scrolling portions of this video is at five times normal speed. I am using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades. And even though I am stack cutting two quarter inch sheets, which equal to half an inch of total thickness, the blade is still cutting through the wood like butter and I'm starting up at the sailor's head and working my way down and honestly you can start anywhere you're comfortable with just taking my time and going through all the interior cuts if you guys would like to try this project you can go download it over at Steve Goods Scroll Saw Workshop.blogspot.com website over in the pattern catalog. You can download this pattern or one of the many other patterns that he offers for the scroll saw. If you guys also like what you're seeing, I would encourage you to like this video, share it with your friends, and maybe even subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram, at Artisan Pirate. I try to post over there at least twice daily. And sometimes I do the stories to give you guys sneak peeks, sneak peeks excuse me, of what I'm working on out in the shop. Just working our way down toward the ship's wheel at the bottom of the pattern. And the very last internal cut I will do, or next to last internal cut I will do, you will see it has a nail through the two sheets of quarter inch plywood and that's just to hold and lock the two pieces together to keep them from moving and vibrating apart. Also you will see the little brad nails around the outside of the wood and that's just to hold everything together and keep it stable when stack cutting. In this next cut, which is the final inside cut, I'll show you the little nail in the center. There it is. And we're going to do this cut. And all the internal cutting is actually done, but I will do one more um, pilot hole cut. And that is because when stack cutting, you don't want to start from the outside of a piece of wood and cut into it. You want to start with a pilot hole. Again, it's just all about the stability of the wood. And I actually had to back it up and go the other way here because if I would have swung the piece around, it would have hit my camera tripod. So that was my reason for backing it out and turning around. But then when we get back to the pilot hole, I will cut through the wood and then all of the actual scrolling for this project is done. Now over here on the table, we're taking the 
piece apart and there you see the beautiful stencil we got and also two beautiful scroll saw pieces and we're going to hit both pieces front and back with a high grit sandpaper on the palm sander and give them a good sanding and I'll always do more sanding off camera and then for this video the project was done. And here we have the completed sea captain at the helm. I think it turned out real good. The quarter inch plywood always cuts extremely smooth over on the scroll saw. I love the design and as a result of stack cutting we got two of them and also as a result of stack cutting and sandwiching a piece of poster board in it we got a stencil for later use. These would be good for anyone that does airbrush or if I want to do these again I can just lay the pattern on a piece of wood put a light coat of colored spray paint on it and then I'm good to go. I don't have to waste time running in back and forth to the printer printing out stuff and wasting ink. These are always neat to make and you can get huge pieces of white poster board for a dollar at the dollar store for I think three for a dollar. So it's very inexpensive to make those. But here is the completed Sea Captain again. Great detail in it. I really love it. This is going to go in my room or I might finish both of them and put one in my room and then give one to my mom for her living room but I think it's going to turn out awesome all that's left to do is finish it you guys know I don't like to finish a lot of projects on my videos well I do but I, I most of the time don't because I like for you guys to interpret how it should be finished I don't want to finish some and then everybody be like hey I've got to finish it the way he done it so leaving it off at this point but I hope you guys like it I know I do that is about all for this video it took me an hour to scroll that over on the scroll saw and that was stack cutting so I got two beautiful projects for the, basically the time it would have took to do the one and that's awesome but again that's about all for this video remember guys if I can make it so can you I'm the artisan pirate Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.